What is going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Fizzle and today we're going to be bringing you episode number three of Tizzle's Map Tutorials and this is going to be on the map firing range and for this episode I'm going to try to do it in one take because like like without cutting at all or anything because everything's pretty you know like lined up there's pretty much a trail or it's, it's all lined up you know right there so I can pretty much do it in one take without having to move around the map too much so we're going to go ahead and do that I've been playing this map since Black Ops 1 so I pretty much know a lot of things on here and yeah, let's get into this. So the first thing, first, we want to talk about this control point right here. This is a hard point. Oh, there's a flag here. A couple of things that go on around this side of this uh, back long building. So we call it long. Well, I call it long because if I do my guns for dummies tutorial, there's a long range here. And this is the only long range on the map. So we're going to call this back long. Um, so when people have the control point here, what they like to do is they sit in this corner, they head glitch this box. They sit in this corner, they head glitch this bench, or they peek this little sandbag. One thing you can do is you can run up and you can look at this dummy here, this um, target dummy, and you can just shoot this. And what that's going to do is it's going to check both corners. So here, if he's crouching, it's a headshot, he's standing, it's chest high. Um, this guy's standing, it's like his legs, if he's crouching, it's more like a chest shot. So it's going to peek both corners just from a few shots. So, I mean, it doesn't hurt to check. It especially works if you have FMJ. I don't know how it works if you don't have FMJ. But this gun has a double FMJ, so it's going to definitely go through there 10 out of 10 times. Um, next up, you can do the vice versa shot. So you can aim here and then boom, shoot right into there. You see the bullets on the locker right there. So that's a pretty decent shot. Really easy to shoot through this stuff. Um, next up, you can check a lot of line of sights here. This is a very easy place to literally check information for the whole entire map. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is right here on this trash can. You can aim here and peek this corner. A lot of people like to stand there. Next up, you can pull out your sniper. Stand back here on this back counter. You don't even have to pull out your sniper for this. You can stand this back counter and you can peek all through red, all down middle lane, um, bottom window at wood. You can peek all of this just from this, this back side. Really, really reliable. Really good spot. You also have this little jump slide or jump slide right here into tires. You can stand up here as well and do kind of the same thing into tires. You can stand here and aim into ten, bottom ten. And all of this is just from this this one room. Um, another really important thing that you can do is I'm gonna set this here just for like a context. Room. Razor wire. So people like to approach this by crouching here and aiming into this building. They like to head glitch these stairs, kinda like this. You know, how, the only way you really head glitch stairs. So they like to do that aiming into that back long building. And I put this here kind of for a context clue. What we're going to do is we're going to use it to kind of guide our shot or show you guys where I'm shooting. Now, you can get hit markers on your own gear, but you can't get hit markers on your own gear through a wall. Wait, you can. Okay, well, that just, I, I've been doing this with a barricade, so I guess this helps even more. So one thing you can do if you want to shoot that head glitch without having to, you know, put yourself out here like this and get destroyed you get that information that someone's there you can run right up here to the L and you can aim right in the center of this rectangle and just light it up just like that and I'm actually glad I just figured that out because I've been using the barricade and the barricade doesn't work through the walls like you can you can get a hit marker on it like that but you can't get a hit marker when you shoot it like that so glad I figured that out with the razor wire Okay, next up, we have, of course, the counter to this is uh, the head glitch right here. You might want to play this one. But next up, we have this little 10L right here. This is in back trailer. You can, you can head glitch it like that. You can head glitch it on the corner. You can torque corner this, which is uh, the thing we've been doing the past two episodes. You can head glitch it like this. Um, not the best spot but I mean kind of get stuff done they can wall bang this whole tin wall so you want to be careful if you get take some fire you can cover you know sit down here all right moving onward you have another little corner here that you can kind of get some information with and you can check here this sandbag is a very very good spot for head glitching you can head glitch this sandbag and get their whole back spawn for the most part you can see if they're going to go into red but you can watch them cross here and you can pretty much light them up um this car another good spot you can you can sit on and head glitch this car is very popular because people like to sit here and watch spawn. They like to sit here and watch back, back wood. Um, people like to stand here and look into this bottom wood or they look at the mid. So these cars 
to have a lot of attention during um, a full multiplayer game, a full pub match especially. This wood wall you can torque corner if you would like. You can jump right onto it. You can, if that's if you want to do that. Like I said, these torque corners are not too useful. It depends on how you want to play with this barricade. Um, I would recommend if you're going to do this, you might as well use the special issue that allows you to get your specials really fast. And I hope I'm not talking too too fast for you guys, but I've, I've already tried this in one take and I already screwed it up, so I had to do another one. So here's a torque corner here. Next up, we have the red room. So we have red. Now, people spawn right here, and a lot of times when they do spawn here, they get spawn trapped. If you're holding a hard point here, or holding the flag, or you're um, in anything really, kill confirmed even, you can you can stand back enough to where they won't over, you know, you won't overextend, and they won't spawn behind you, and you can just kill people as they run out of here. Now, one thing that's very important is when they run out of here, they either don't know how to play the game and they just get spawn trapped. They'll get over here really fast, which usually gets them killed because you usually have teammates over here. Or they run in the red, which causes a ruckus, and you cannot really counter this too well because if you're not in red, they have the positioning and they can get to you first. So, one thing you can do is you can push back in here into red, and you can lay down right here. You can see them if they run in here. You can lay down under here, and you can kind of see if they cross on this side. Um, you can get against this, this locker right here and play it kind of like this where they only have one little piece of your body to shoot. Um, you can also play the closed door. And lastly, I did not know this was here, but lastly, you can peek their back spawn just from looking through this window right here. A lot of people don't know, don't know about this one in particular because, I mean, it's not something you really look at. You don't when you play Call of Duty, you don't usually look towards the outsides of the map, um, other than to just look at like what it looks like outside. But you're not going to look out here during you know a real game, especially when you got a spawn trap. But now you know you can peek them from here and see if they they're spawning up, and you can get some shots on them, and then do your thing. You can also put a torque barricade down here, jump on it, look over. Um, people that run by are going to get hit so you don't have to worry about them too much if you miss them on the way by next up we have this right here and we call this mesh well I call it mesh and you can jump onto it just like that instead of having to climb this ladder I hate ladders in this game you can just jump onto this building first and then another hop and you're up in top wood pretty easily you can jump that bottom wood all this wall bangable by the way because it is all wood so make sure you take advantage of that shoot through everything another thing I found is it's not the best but I did find it I guess this works so you can stand on the shield and you can sprint and jump onto the corner here and I don't know what you would do with this I mean I just found it right before I turned on the video I don't really know what you would do with this other than use it like Michael Myers or something to hide from people. But it's a dope little thing that I, I mean I found and I wanted to share with you guys so I might as well throw it in the video. Alright, next up we have from top wood you can peek into trailer. You can also peek into the trailer door from here stand here and check this window check the sandbag into this window you can also get kind of mid map from this area all this little sandbag this is a very popular spot so I would avoid that one and I would peek it from here more than anything I would peek it from this little upside you can mantle these stairs sideways too if you want to climb all the way up them all right so in this back lot we have this um this back alley we do have this one building which you can use as a power position to get this little spawn. You can also look deep into their back alley to red. Not a whole lot here. Uh, there is a quick little line of sight that I mean, you could peek right there. This blue barrel is used to counter a lot. I like to use these to uh, help move my way up. A lot of people will just run straight through this area when they come off spawn. And they'll run straight like this. And if you have a head glitch here, here, or here you're going to win 9 out of 10 times, so go ahead. 
So this yellow barrel right here is a good counter for this building. If you know someone's up here and you don't want to just mantle up that way, you can also mantle up the other way, just like that. Not too hard to do. Not much going on back here in this part of the map. A lot of people like to hide behind these boxes and shoot onward. You can view this whole um, tin door from here. So if someone is camping that, you can, you know, someone likes to camp this, peek that, you can peek in the tin just from this one little area. Next up, we have this tire side. Nothing really happens here except you do have this. If you want to play a prank on your friends, you can get them all to come in here and then put the torch barricades up and they cannot get out. You cannot crouch, you cannot stand up, you cannot do anything. So, and you're the only one that can break it, so you can lock them in there. Alright, over on this side of the map, we have this little red room area. I don't know what to call this. Tin red, red tin, I don't know. Uh, beer, maybe, I don't know. So, this building, a lot of people like to push out and they'll use this to hold this angle. And they'll shoot you and they'll get back in the corner or something. If you know someone's in the corner, instead of just pushing in there where they have the advantage, just make sure to uh, shoot through the walls if you have FMJ. It's very easy to do. I don't know if you can do it without FMJ, but I usually rock FMJ on a lot of classes, so just go ahead and shoot through there and uh, take them out that way. Next up, we have Tin Building. And a lot of people know that Tin Building is very, very popular and they like going up the stairs to uh, fight. People will usually sit in this corner and they'll watch this way or they'll sit over here and they'll watch over here. They like to stand behind this. Now, you can counter this by automatically when you come up, just aim. Just go ahead and go ahead and get started. Start aiming. If you don't want to go up that way, you can jump up this side right here. And now you're in their face. Um, you can do it from the other side as well. It doesn't give you a good mantle animation all the time, but you can do the same thing. And then lastly, in Black Ops 1, this was very, very easy to do. You can just jump right here and then get up. Also here, jump up, you know, pretty easily and just get in there. It doesn't seem like that's the case. You can still do it sometimes. But it doesn't allow you to do it nearly as often. I don't even know how that, there we go. Climb in there. Obviously, if you don't want to go through all that trouble, you can just jump up here onto this sandbag area, and then boom, you're in there. In there, like swim there. So another thing about this tin building is all the tin is wall bangable. You can use this right here if you, you're spawn peeking. So if you're like standing right here and you see them coming through, did not mean to do that. You can always just aim here and shoot this. Um, there's a barrel right here if you want to blow it up. You can always just shoot that as well. The razor wire is still sitting there. I put the razor wire there as a little guide, but you can shoot that and blow up people as they run by. That's not as useful, no one really does that, but just a little pointer, just a little tip. Next up we have this trailer building. In the trailer, you can check the other side from crouching it like this, but there is a spawn back here and people like to run across very often. So this is a very popular side of the map, or middle map, so you don't want to be here all the time. A search and destroy, you might get away with this, but this isn't the best spot to check it from. So, if, if you are going to check it, you might as well do it like this and then push in really, really fast. And then from there, you can, you know, push up to this and then watch this angle. But as far as that goes, a lot of people like to camp in corners, so just be wary of that when you come in there. Um, a fun little tip is this window, you can shoot out of it, obviously, but there's a little dummy that moves back and forth, a little target. You can stand inside near that window when the dummy moves past it and what it'll do is it'll stop the dummy so now you have this all to yourself and you can sit here and you can you can fire and you know do what you want to do without having to worry about this dummy coming back once you move backwards you'll restart his little session i think yeah there he goes and this could help you in a couple ways so if you're sitting here and or someone's sitting here holding this position that means that you can jump right back through here because if a dummy's coming by, you can't do it. I'll give you an example of that. I'll show you that real quick. So here's the dummy. You can't you can't even mantle this. Gives you no animation whatsoever. He's gone. You can jump right through there. Guys, I switched the ruin because I want to go ahead and show you this 
nice little thing with the addition of Black Ops 4 that you can do with the ruins. If someone's camping up here in this top building, you can obviously just shoot your way up here and take them out. This is a good power position because you can literally hold everything and there's one way up other than ruins. Ruins can get up there as much as they want just by the grapple, but no one else can get up here. I think in Black Ops 1, you could jump up by this little area right here. Obviously, that's in the past. And this is a good power position. You can hold this for a while. You can see 10 in the 10. You can see the back tire area. You can see trailer, both sides trailer. You can see what you can literally see the whole map just from this one sniper tower. So just be aware of that. Um, watch out for the bugs. Obviously, there's a lot of them. Another thing you can do is if you have torque, I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Ways like I said, I don't know if you guys want to use torque like this, but if someone's really pissing you off, I mean, you might as well. If someone's holding that position, you don't want to climb up the ladder. You can jump up here and then. It will not work there. Put down your torque barricade. You just jump onto it, and then you can climb up from there. Take out your opponent. Do what you want. So, yeah. That's going to do it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I try to do it very, very fast. I, don't, I know you guys probably don't like sitting around for the uh, longer videos. I'm going to watch it again and take a look at it and see which one I like to do more. So be on the lookout for the next episode. I should be doing these every other day. So you're going to get a gun, a gun guide and a uh, map tutorial every other day from each other. Two of these are going to be uploaded in the same day today. But from then on, I think tomorrow I'm going to upload a gun guide, and the next day a map tutorial, gun guide, map tutorial, on and on. Alternating just like that until we are done with all of it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you enjoyed the videos, please leave a thumbs up on them. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you want more content like this, be sure to follow me, follow my stream, follow my, my YouTube channel, and do everything like that. All of that good, those good deeds. Till next time, it's been your boy Jay Tizzle, and I'm out. Peace.